You always cut your little ones. So I'm just about to head to work. Um, the cats are all happy. Jess was out. Minnie's decided that she's gonna sit inside. <laughs> she's such a weird cat. Um, love them both to bits, but they're so like. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna pop off. I'm so tired. <laughs> I feel so ill. I've had to leave early from work. Um, but we've got a house viewing, so that's fun. Um, I'm just start eating a little bit of food. Um, mini set. <laughs> Up there, um, watching Glow Up, which is presented by Stacey Julie. I've got a cup of tea. Um, yeah. Look at this. This is amazing. That's really amazing. Oh, oh. I feel all posh coming out of the rub. <laughs> now I am posh. That's the road though. Can't go wrong. That's Rob. I know. School and school was the best days of their life. So this poem is called The Worst Days of Your Life. Dressed in brother's hand-me-downs, oversized and way off trend. No new designer togs for me. It's all made do and mend. I had a newfound interest in ladies and girls with all of their curves and round bits. But the puberty belt dealt me a very cruel hand and smothered my face full of zits. <laughs> a voice not yet fully broken would suddenly fail me and lurch from tenor break bass to soprano squeak I had more range than Charlotte Church <laughs> jumpers for goalposts at break times but I'm always picked last for the team puppy fat and two left feet aren't sought after qualities it seems lunchtime spent in the chess club because it's safer than going outside bullies stalk me like giant lions stalk gazelles before dragging them back to the pride a big brother three years older than me who tells me I'll ruin his street cred. But there's no way he'd be seen dead with me when there's girls to hang out with instead. Homework to do when I get back at night, tests to study, books to be read. But my heart just wasn't in essays and maths. I just want to watch Neighbours instead. <laughs> your school days are the best of your life, Dad always says with a smile and a wink. Seriously, Dad? You having a laugh? Because frankly, my school days just stink. <laughs> So the, this one's uh, about a real person, because I work in a school, and um, this is, a, this is a, a little boy that, uh, that I know. He's not with us anymore, he's gone off to another school, but left an impact on me. It's called Tech Boy. The hall projector's on the blink. My laptop won't start up. The interactive whiteboard has completely gone kaput. This is a complete disaster. How will I ever teach my class? Is there someone I can turn to? Is there someone I can ask? Then just before I completely give up and fall in a heap on the floor, a saviour appears from in year five. It's Tech Boy at the door. <laughs> Stand back, sir, he start calmly states. I'll handle things from here. Then he fixes the problem in two seconds flat while I simply clap, whoop and cheer. How can I ever thank you, I cry. He replies, no need, it's just what I do. 
He gives a small smile and then walks away, but I'd not be surprised if he flew. But just who is this crusader? Is it a Hulk or perhaps Superman? No, believe it or not, it's just a regular kid who most of the time is called Sam. So if you need a technology saviour and all of your hopes simply gone, just call out for Tech Boy as loud as you can, and I promise you'll not go far wrong. <laughs> You'll be glad to know this isn't about a real person, this is about a dear lady. It's called Doris Grotz. <laughs> At Greybridge Village Primary School, all of the kids are rightly scared of one truly fearsome adult who's the stuff of pure nightmares. It's not the head or the teachers, they're all a friendly lot, but the terror of the lunch canteen, dear lady. When the clock strikes 12 midday, all the children sweat and shake, then grimly sidle into the dinner hall, putting cutlery in plates. For there she waits, ladle in hand, her tabard smeared with grime, to dish out smelly putrid slop to the children in the line. Her teeth are brown and yellow, she has warts upon her nose. She wears sandals on her stinky feet, and dark hairs grow on her toes. <laughs> her belly is enormous, it wobbles when she walks. She grunts just like a farmyard pig and there's thunder when she talks. She looms over the children with a wicked, crooked grin, making sure they finish every bit and that none goes in the bin. The children dare not leave a crumb, no matter how they gag, because no one wants a dressing down from the horrid, nasty hag. Thank you very much. I've just realised I haven't ended the vlog yesterday, so I am going to end it here and say goodbye and see you tomorrow.